Welcome back to our channel. Um, today's a good day. Um, we finally get to tell you how yeah. we met. Um, this video I feel like we've been dragging this is out, long overdue. It's finally time yeah. to tell you how we met. Yeah, or subscribers need to know. They need to know the story. They need to know or once upon a time, you know? <laughs> hmm. So today's that day. Um, right. um, so I guess uh, we'll start with Alex on his side because he was the one that came to Jamaica and everything. So I think the the reggae is to be blamed for this. Mm -hmm. No, but I, I listened a lot to reggae when I grew up and that truthful, conscious music, it made me want to see what's going on on that beautiful island in the Caribbean. And by that time I had, as in 2015-ish, I had some friends from, from North America that also wanted to see Jamaica. So we decided to meet up there. Um, we spent a few days in Kingston. We did the Bob Marley Museum. Mm -hmm. um, we went to Portland, spent some time there. We were in Port Antonio. We went to Ochi. Um, where you also lived back then. Mm -hmm. And from there... You know, we just did a typical tourist stuff. And then from Ochi, we went to Negril. Spent some additional days there. I mean, the trip, it was all right. It was all right. But during that time with my friends from, from, from North America, I just felt, I just felt that I wanted to see more than what we did. Maybe we didn't travel the way that I did. I thought it was too much focus maybe on things as, you know, that thing that people like to inhale in Jamaica and I wasn't so interested of that. Weed. You can say weed, babe. I can say <laughs> weed, yeah. So, um, long story short, I wanted to travel Jamaica my way. I wanted to travel Jamaica more like Yardman style. I wasn't so interested of the weed. I was not so interested of the beaches. Mm. So, I mean, so I just, yeah, I decided to branch off on my own, I went on a bus from Negril to Ochi. By the time I arrived at Ochi, I realized uh, because one of the, um, the workers at the bus company, he told me that the next bus that was going to bring me to Boston, which was my final destination in Portland, mm -hmm. he told me that that bus was delayed and it wasn't going to come until maybe two, three hours later. He asked me if I wanted some food I'm a foodie so I said yeah of course I want some food so we went to a restaurant together this is where I come in basically, this is where you come to in. fill in yeah. that gap when yeah he, yeah yeah when he um, stood at the bus stop waiting to go get food right. with the guy that I knew also so my friend at that time um, we had planned to um, meet that day because it was my day off and we said that we were going to go to the beach at Margaritaville which was where the bus stop is and where we planned to chill at the beach so after an evening at the beach maybe an hour I think it was about an hour that we spent at the beach we got hungry and um, we decided okay let's go grab some food um, and while we were leaving the plaza of Margaritaville and coming out for you guys who are familiar with Margaretville and Ochi, you know, when you come down the stretch there, passing Scotia ATM, and then you turn to the left where the entrance the entrance and exit is, and then you have Nosford on the side, um, I saw Alex standing <laughs> in some khaki shorts, a white t-shirt like this, and his sunglasses that looked like Ray-Bans and some sandals and he was just standing there with his hands in his pocket just looking ahead and it just look, seems a bit lost but cute <laughs> I was not lost no you just look like you were just standing there by yourself you know like 
Yeah. So okay, I saw I, him. Okay, I, you can say that I was lost. I, I don't need to be. Yeah. So wow. I saw him, and I was like, I said to my friend, "Hey, that guy over there is cute." Um. So we knew her and I. We knew a guy that works at the Nutsford bus stop that we normally go say hi to. Apparently, he was the one that you spoke to that said you could, you guys could grab some food together. Right, right, right. Yeah, so we were there. We stopped there talking to that same guy um, for a while. And so she and I, we left first. And um, while we were walking, we were on the right side walking to, why are you laughing at me? I don't know, nothing, 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 nothing. So she, she and I, we were on the right side of the road walking to this place that we were gonna eat. And then I looked behind and I saw Alex and our friend that works at the bus stop walking the same direction but on the other side. So our, his name was Chris, I don't mind saying Chris's name. If he's watching this, he knows we're talking about him. <laughs> so when they approached a bit closer, like, you know, on the opposite side but in or exact um, direction, whatever, I shouted across the road and I said, Chris, and then he looked. And then I pointed at Alex, <laughs> so I was like hinting to tell, um, tell him to tell Alex, like, oh, that girl, I, I think she likes you, whatever. But Alex, he, he was very Swedish, very reserved, very shy, and you know, so he he just looked really shy, and I was so extrovert, the Jamaican in me. So, um, yeah, I was like just pointing, and did I wave like? Yeah, I, I, did. I, I did. I did wave. I, I, did I just wave. thought that you guys were talking to each other because by that time, I did not know the patois that well that I do today. So I think you obviously you spoke in patois. I did not really understand. I just thought that you said hi to him. Yeah, but I, I you did wave. A, you did a little wave. <laughs> oh, oh, maybe I actually yeah. did. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so when my friend and I got to this place that we were eating. Um, we saw that they were there. Right, it's like, right. hold on, wait, is this fate? Is this supposed to happen? So, um, he first, he was in the line first. Are we all already thinking that that early? No, not really. No. <laughs> so, but I thought it was like coincidence. You thought it was cool that I came there too, right? Yeah. yeah. So it was like, oh shit, like what a coincidence. You, you weren't disappointed at least. No, I was that. not disappointed. So he was he ordered he ordered his food first and then after it was me and the friend that ordered. Mm -hmm. um, after so when we got our food and we sat down we realized that he already finished his food and we're like, yeah. what the hell? I had a bad habit back then. I ate way too fast. I'm got I admit. Yeah. She you taught me how to eat slow, babe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're not rush things. You're not rush yeah, things. So, so. so that's good. No, seriously, I don't know. I. I don't know. I can't explain. I just some. That's a really bad habit back then. I ate way too fast. Yeah, he chomped his food fast. I'm it's telling you, in the space like, of like ten minutes. Yeah. Cause ten, then, ten minutes is. That's. It was mad fast. No, 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 babe. We're talking maybe two minutes. <laughs> Throw that plate in my mouth. So my my. That's how it was back then. So, me and the friend. You had then, some good. She had some good impact on me. I can tell you that. Yeah. yeah. So me and the friend then we sat and we were like looking at the menu to see what it is that he could have ordered that went so fast. But they was like, what? That's just funny. Anyway, so when we sat to eat, the friend that work at Nuts Ford invited Alex. Sorry, invited Alex <laughs> to our table. So um, I was like, ah, this is my time to make a move. <laughs> sort of. Really? <laughs> sort of. Really? I was just happy that he was coming to the table because I wanted to know more about him. I wanted to know. You were sitting by the table like this. Was is, I? This, is this how you make a move? <laughs> <laughs> was that what I did? No, you were shy. Of course, but at the same time, I really wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he came but to But tell him. me, how did you make a move? Because I don't remember you making a move, really. When I say make my move, it's just to just to talk to him. That's what I mean. Because if it was you alone, you probably wouldn't have. Because I think we, we, we spoke when Chris and your friend 
left yeah, they the went, table. They that, went, yeah. That's when we started. Just... No, but you came, you came when they were already there, and we just started to just have general talk. And then when my friend then went out of the the restaurant to go meet up with some other person, mm -hmm. and Chris went back to work, it was just you and I that was left. Right. And then that's right. where we started to right. really right. talk. Yeah, but but uh, uh, from my side, it was just a friendly yeah, chat. It, that's, it that's all was it was. Like that. then, yeah. um, but I mean, of course, I did think he was cute, so of course I was... But he he didn't come to Jamaica to find a woman. <laughs> no, I come to Jamaica to find a woman. <laughs> so, anyway, so when we sat at the table, we exchanged uh, Facebook and Messenger. Mm. And... Um, then it was time to go back to Knottsford because you need to catch your bus. So mm -hmm. you had like an hour left before the bus went. So I was like, okay, right. I'll follow you back to the bus stop. So I was like, okay, I walk with you back down because, um, yeah, I just wanted to join. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, let me just follow this guy down to Knottsford. And we chat and we had ice cream together. And yeah, but it was very, very casual. Very, very casual. So, after we after we had ice cream, we I joined him to sit in a bus until the driver was ready because you were the only passenger on the bus. Yeah, I think so. It was late, uh, at least dark. It was about seven. Uh, no, it must have been more than that. No, it was seven. That bus leaves from All right seven. What? Right. Yeah, seven, and it gets there at nine in Portland. Okay, okay, you know better. Than I know. Me. <laughs> All right. So it was about seven around mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Remember we sat in the bus and we talked some more. How did you manage remember... to sneak in? How did you sneak in? Because it was just you alone and I told the driver, asked, I asked the driver if I could just sit with you until the bus is ready to go. And he said yes. So I sat with you in there. Mm. So I remember when we spoke, what really sealed the deal for me was how when I was speaking to Alex, Alex was very, very, very attentive very attentive like he would just sit and he's like this and he would give me a response he would give me his feedback on what he thinks about what i say and i was like okay that's good yeah and then it was time for him to go and i remember when i walked away and then the bus passed me on the sidewalks i was like damn i miss him i remember i even said it to my friend they're like i miss i think i miss him and she was like what are you serious <laughs> like yeah i think i do but i had that feeling too after we we had ice cream and you managed to sneak in the bus with me and we spoke in there it was like this thing keeping us together and resisting the separation <laughs> in some sort of way because i i wanted more of i wanted more of your thoughts and your words mm -hmm. and your perspectives yeah um when we said goodbye yeah um but uh i had my destination in boston so i i mean i was heading there yeah and i felt to meet like... up with some other people that i met actually in kingston earlier um so they were obviously waiting for me there so i mean the goodbye was a must for us yeah but i felt so sad because this guy is going to my hometown and I felt like if I didn't have that work the day after I would have went. <laughs> that must have been so frustrating <laughs> for you actually. Yeah but no I don't I really don't think I would have went but I just knew that when the bus left what I was missing that he gave I wanted more hmm. you know so I was like I think that's why I felt like I missed him. Anyway so um, I thought that when we exchanged uh, social media to keep contact i was like yeah whatever he's not gonna text it's just somebody that i met and that's gonna be it so you were supposed to leave the saturday after we met mm -hmm. i think mm -hmm. yeah um so i remember that so when i was at work i texted him asking if he made it to the airport or whatever and when i texted he replied so how long did it take for me to text you when i went when i reached home to my you t you were point. actually the one that tell told me that you were home, right? Yeah. Like the day after, two days, or did it did a week pass? Uh, I don't remember. It was a day after because you. That know, soon. Yeah. I must have missed you. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually surprised, guys, because I thought, okay, this person would never text me again, 
and it will just be a lost contact. But he texted, and I remember, and I realized that every time I text, he texts and texts and texts. I mean, we we were just friends. We were just talking as friends. So we had a friendship contact for a year on Messenger, just so friends. But I realized that, or we realized that during that time and in, in that one year span, that feelings were starting to come in. Like we had our first argument. <laughs> On the phone. Yeah, I wrote him a letter that yeah, I that sent was one it of to the him here. Cutest letters I ever received. Actually, that was yeah. that was a wicked. We cute saw it. Letter. We found it yesterday because we were packing to move away from this mm. apartment. So we found it, and the pack. Yeah, I sent him a T-shirt with Jamaica. I sent him coffee. Um, yeah, so I wrote him a letter telling him how much I appreciate him as a friend and how I'm grateful how he listens and always there for me. Mm. So we decided. We planned that, okay, let's meet again. So this talking and texting on the phone, that went on for, for basically a year, right? Mm -hmm. Or oh, maybe 10, 10 months or so. About that, yeah. Um, yeah. And this thing just grew on us. I mean, so I had to come back. Yeah. Right? And then I came to JA for about two to three months, right? You spent two months. Mm-hmm. To, yeah, he spent right. two months. Yeah, so when he came back... That was back, a weird feeling when I came back. Because none of us... We knew that we had a chemistry on on the phone, right? Yeah. Did we face... We didn't FaceTime a lot. Back no, then. we didn't FaceTime we at all. We actually didn't FaceTime We never FaceTime. It was just video call... Um, I think it was a, calling. a part of me wanted to see you more vivid is that the right word or i just wanted to see, just wanted you to see me physically yeah. yeah yeah um i suggested it to him a lot of times but he I hates the video no. calling yeah he hates i don't even know how i even managed to get him on youtube because he hates being on camera oh, I, i'm I just, sure you this, guys recognize that he can be a little shy <laughs> this this thing with youtube i really had to overcome my yeah he hates my the camera. comfort zone actually just me sitting here that's 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 a big step for me. Yeah. I don't know when we when we met up again. It wasn't like we decided that we were gonna be a couple. Yeah, it we was, didn't know. We didn't know what to expect. We were just really. super curious to, yeah. to to have a taste of that chemistry again that we felt those hours in in Ochi when we first met. Mm -hmm. But it all turned it all turned okay, right? Because we're sitting here today. Yeah. <laughs> so when he came back, I. I was, about, I was about to say that we're gonna make your grandma happy with a baby picnic, but <laughs> in due time. <laughs> in due time. <laughs> anyway, so when I picked him up at the airport, guys, it was pretty. I was so nervous. My mom came because she wanted to know who this guy oh, that I've been talking on the phone to all the time, and my little baby sister has been always talking to Alex mm. on the phone. So she came. My mom liked him, of course. So we lived together. Um, for two months and yeah. after two weeks we decided to call it official we were like yeah hmm. feelings are there chemistry is there everything's great <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really how we met really and what went down um, friends for a while until we be actually became a couple um, which is good. I mean, our relationship built off solely communication from the right, beginning. Right, that's what I always say. We got to learn each other, get to know each other before we did any physical contact, honestly. And and that's a mm. that's what I think is so beautiful with us. Yeah. And um, I treasure that. Yeah, me too. I really do. Mm. Because we started off with the communication and then the physical part came afterwards. Uh, Really. Yeah. I treasure that. Yeah, me too. And I always say I think our relationship was fate. It was supposed to happen. So I'm happy that we're here now, yes, finally, together, holy. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, that's really it. Um, I don't know if it was a great story or what, but for us, it's great. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah, well, so that's yeah. what happened, guys. We met in Jamaica, and a lot of people thought we met online and mm -hmm. dating apps. And when I used to work at the hotel, people thought I met him at the hotel. But now you know, no. That also. I yeah. just met to this random 
tourist, this backpacker. This lost white guy <laughs> outside that's for watching. Yeah, yeah, really. So yeah, guys, that's our story. Um, thank you for tuning in one more time. <laughs> you are quite a few that's following us now. It's a bit. Oh. It's a bit scary. We passed ten thousand. Thank it's you like for having 10, this. It's like having this big arena full of people watching you know it's a bit scary don't you think Kimalto? no he thinks that though because he's so shy yeah i think it's a bit scary but thank you for ten thousand guys we are really thankful yes yes a whole um, lot thanks yeah. yeah um don't forget to subscribe if you are a new uh watcher and mm. turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video when we post so thank you guys and um we will see you in our next video you always finish off like that, you know? Yes. That? But it's That's true. my signature goodbye. All right. We'll see you <laughs> in the next video. Thank you guys, video. and we'll see you in the next video. Hey, do. Hey, do.